I am Steve, the Anchor Tester with SV Panel Pay. And in this video, we're not going to look at anchors performing on the seafloor. I'm just going to look at them on the bench, and we are going to analyze how we attach chains to the shanks of these anchors. So let's get right into it. This is the shank of a 45-pound genuine CQR anchor. And for this size range anchor, ideally you'd want to use a 7 16 shackle, which would work perfectly with 3 8 inch chain. You could use bigger or smaller chains and shackles in some situations, but I, I feel that would be the most appropriate. Uh, unfortunately, a 7 16 shackle will not pass. This shank is too wide, so that forces us to go to a half inch. Here's a half inch bow shackle. It doesn't work either. This is so wide, we have to go to this style half inch shackle. Uh, we'll need a, three, a 7 16 shackle additionally, and that's the orientation. Here's a 44 pound genuine Bruce anchor. We notice that the hole is slot shaped, and that allows us to pass the boss of a 7 16 shackle through no problem. Notice that the edges of this are rounded wonderfully, and it, it's so nice that even on this old uh, second-hand anchor, the galvanizing is still intact where it turns the corner here, and uh, that, that's just wonderful. I, I wish all slots could be this, this nice to use. Uh, it, it will even pass a half-inch shackle in case you wanted to use a larger chain such as 7 16 We'll try a 3 8 that will not pass. So if you want to use small chain, say 5 16 chain, you'd be looking at using a uh, medium sized shackle followed by a small shackle. But very good though. Ex excellent slot. Okay, next we'll look at a 45 pound delta anchor and let's just go right down the line. Will a half inch shackle fit? Yes. Will a 7 16 fit? Yes. 3 8 Yep, 5 16 unbelievable. It holds any of these, all four sizes, simultaneously. Now, you'd never do that in real life, but that, that's significant. They have made a very, very large opening, and what it means is, is that these, these shackles never have any chance of binding. Just wonderful free motion. The only thing I would do to improve this would be to chamfer or round that edge just a little bit. Otherwise, that is perfect. Next up is this 48-pound Sarka XL anchor. Here's the half-inch shackle. Won't pass. 7 16 Will not pass. 3 8 won't go, and of course the 5 16 won't go as well. So what do we do? We go back to the two-shackle arrangement and this would be the orientation. The last link of the chain goes through here and the pin up through the chain. Uh, it, when it's like this, it doesn't want to bind. It's perfectly acceptable, but you just have to use two shackles. Okay, this is a 47 pound Super Sarka anchor and a half inch shackle will pass through so we can attach 7 16 chain in the normal manner, which would be Acceptable. I mean, it's a little bit large. I think typically, once again, we'd be looking at 3 8 inch chain for this size anchor. Uh, a 7 16 shackle will not pass through in this fashion. So if you want to use 3 8 inch chain, once again, we're looking at a two shackle arrangement in this orientation. 3 8 inch shackle will not work in any event. So got got two options to attach a chain to the Super Sarka anchor. Uh, incidentally, this does have a rock slot. That's a, this is a, a device to trip the anchor in case it gets lodged into something immobile. But if you do not want to use the rock slot, the anchor does come with a nut and bolt. You can slide it into this position, tighten it down, and effectively defeats the rock slot from, from, from being usable. This is the 45 pound galvanized steel spade anchor, and a half inch shackle will not pass. 7 16 shackle will pass, but not readily. You have to wiggle it till it's just right, and then it passes through. There is enough clearance so that it won't bind. It's not a generous amount of clearance, but it is enough. I'll note that the corner of the opening is not chamfered, and the galvanizing has been knocked away. Uh, let's look at a 3 8 inch. This is just what I'm talking about. There you go. 
and a 3 8 shackle does pass and moves freely so this would be appropriate for a 5 16 chain and a 5 16 shackle will not pass okay here's the 45 pound rockna anchor and we'll see a half inch shackle does not pass 7 16 will pass but the height of the opening is marginal, and right in this position, the, the shackle is jammed. Uh, it, it jams in a couple other ways as well. You can go like this, and it will it's jammed that way. Uh, I've even got footage during my cobblestone test where this shackle was jammed off to the side, thus changing the pole location of the road. It eventually wiggled its way uh, loose and sorted itself out. But that, that, that's a real, real issue as far as I'm concerned. Also, the edge of this opening has not been chamfered. And, you know, if a guy took a, took a, a file to this and go ahead and, and ra radius that, I bet it would alleviate this binding. But now we're opened ourselves up to uh, corrosion and rust. Uh, of course, that's going to happen anyway once you knock the, the galvanizing off from that sharp corner. Yeah, that, that's that's real. That binding is a real issue. Here's the 3 8 shackle. It passes through and does not bind. And even the little 5 16 shackle fits through. So you could use, you know, say grade 70, the real high test quarter inch chain, which yeah, that would be appropriate. And you'd have to get a very high strength 5 16 shackle to go with it, but that works. Here's the 45 pound Manson Supreme anchor. Uh, now it's been modified. If you don't recognize it, uh, it's because I've changed this anchor. It used to have a rock slot and I cut that top of that off and I've modified the toe, uh, changed the ear, and of course drilled the holes in it. That's all been covered in previous videos and I won't go into that now. Um, in any event, the primary location to attach chain to, that did not change. This is all just the stock hole and let's see what fits. Half inch, no problem. Does not bind. Seven sixteenths, no problem. Three eighths, does not want to go. I think I could probably pound that through with a hammer without deforming things too bad. Boy, it's really close. Hey, look at that. Three eighths will go, but just barely. And does not bind. Five sixteenths, of course, will not pass. So, not bad. The, 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 the one you really want is the 7 16 fits no problem. Here's the 45 pound Mantis anchor and here's the half inch shackle. That passes through. Here's a 7 16 shackle. That passes through. Boy, it's a nice big opening. Let's see if we can get more to fit. Now, can't quite fit three at a time. I know that's silly, but thought it might be interesting to see how many we could stack in there. Here's the 3 8 no problem. And the little 5 16 no problem. So like the Delta, it'll pass all four shackles in the normal manner. But it, in addition, it's got a chamfered edge. So, so far, this is the best. That is that is the best chain attachment I've seen. This is a 55 pound Rockna Vulcan anchor. Uh, 55 pounds puts it in a whole another category. It's one size up from all the rest. So consider that in this. Here's the half inch shackle, which would be pretty appropriate for this larger anchor. Passes perfectly, has plenty of room, does not bind. 7 16 same thing. And even a 3 8 which would be quite small for this size anchor, it does go with a bit of wiggling. I'll notice that the edge of the hole is chamfered or rounded, but the galvanizing is poor enough that it's missing almost completely all the way around. This is a 46 pound ultra anchor and I'll say that the manufacturer basically designed the attach point to use this swivel. And they went so far as to not even make a slot, so you cannot use shackles in the normal you know pass the boss through fashion i did test this anchor without the swivel and i used two two shackles that, that you're forced to goes in this orientation 
The way the chain is secured to the swivel is uh, an Allen screw removes that bolt, uh, the pin passes out, and you get your the last link of your chain in there. Uh, the Allen set screw is uh, held in place permanently by Loctite, and it's very clean. Uh, it'll pass pass through openings and anchor rollers nicely, and uh, maybe maybe even will bury into mud nicer than some of the more bulky shackles. Uh, that's all nice. Um, for my use, you know, I'm I'm Mr. Anchor Tester. I'm constantly swapping out anchors, and just seems like I'm I'm always making up this attachment. So for me, fiddling with little Allen keys and Loctite, eh, that's not ideal. I I just much prefer a standard, good old-fashioned galvanized steel bow shackle. But can't really use it here unless you use two of them. Last up for my larger anchors is the 18 kilogram or 40 pound Knox anchor. Now notice that that kind of falls in between the typical 35 and 45 pound size range. So uh, this is a little bit smaller and, uh, and indeed the half inch shackle, it does pass, but it, it binds pretty, pretty readily. So I'm gonna say that you, you really wouldn't wanna use a half inch anyway. It's, that's just a, a really a large size shackle for an 18 kilogram anchor. Here's the 7 16th shackle. That passes just fine and it does not bind. It's a little, little bit short that way, but nope, does not bind. 3 8 passes no problem. And the 5 16th shackle, it, it goes with a little persuasion. There it goes. Note that the opening uh, corner is not chamfered, so it's a sharp edge, so galvanizing will be lost along there fairly easily. But uh, that, that's, that's very good. It holds three different sizes right in the middle of the appropriate range that you'd expect. Now let's look at some of my smaller anchors. Uh, this is an 11 pound North Hill. Uh, these fold up and it's made out of fairly thin stainless steel. Uh, just for kicks, we'll see if a half-inch shackle passes through. You know, this the working load on this is two tons, and you'd fold this up like a pretzel before you came anywhere near needing that big. But in any event, half-inch passes. Seven-sixteenths passes. Three-eighths. Five-sixteenths. Quarter. Wow, that's incredible. You could even pass a, a half-inch rope through here with all these shackles. I really don't know what they were thinking when they sized that eye. But um, yeah, that, 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 that'll pass anything you got. Here's another North Hill. This one's uh, galvanized steel at about 14 pounds. A 7 16 shackle will not pass. 3 8 will pass. 5 16 will go, as will a quarter inch. Beautifully rounded. It's just like, it's almost like the link of a chain. The very, very old anchor and Galvanizing is not perfect, but really, really great. Um, it's another example of the old galvanizing just hanging in there a lot better than the new stuff. Here's a Sarka Excel number one. Weighs about 17 pounds, and I probably even shouldn't show you a 7 16 shackle with this because it's way, way oversized. But hey, it's here. Let's see if it'll fit. And the answer is no, it will not. 3 8 could be appropriate. be a little big, but it passes perfectly. does not bind. 5 16 shackle is very appropriate and it works. And a quarter is a little small, but quarter inch shackle will pass with some worrying. The opening is not chamfered, pretty sharp corners, so yeah, we'll lose galvanizing. And I can see that this anchor has its galvanizing knocked off, but not in large chunks. It's just along the absolute corner of that hole, so not bad. Here's the 11 pound Genuine Bruce. A 7 16 will not pass. 3 8 goes perfectly. 5 16 works great, as does the quarter. Uh, like the larger 44 pound Genuine Bruce, the opening is very, very nicely uh, chamfered and radiused. Um, I actually, this is an old anchor, but it doesn't have a lot of use. When I got this, it still had a sticker on it from the original manufacturer. Uh, but galvanizing is in excellent shape. No, nothing knocked off. Very good slot. 
Here's a 12 pound Viking anchor. 7 16 shackle will not pass. 3 8 pass is fine. 5 16 works perfectly, as does the quarter. I do not see a chamfer. Maybe a, well, maybe a very, very small partial radius. And yeah, a bit of a galvanizing has been knocked off, but that's a, that's a good hole. That'll hold any, any shackle you'd want to use with this anchor. Here's a 21 pound spade S60 anchor. The 7 16 shackle doesn't even come close. The 3 8 is not a drop in. You have to get it just right and then it'll pass. Once it's through, it doesn't bind. 5 16 passes no problem, as does the quarter inch. Uh, the, sh the hole is not chamfered. Um, Galvanizing's hanging in there. I don't see anything knocked off. It must be right at the apex of the corner. Um, I'll mention I bought this anchor secondhand earlier in the year, and it was virtually unused. I think the owner had only gotten it, the, gotten it in the water once or twice. Uh, but I've, I've jerked it around quite a bit, and uh, yeah, galvanizing's kind of hanging in there on the hole. Pretty good. Good slot. Here's a 10-pound Fortress FX-16 anchor. A 7 16 shackle will not pass. A 3 8 will pass. That's probably most appropriate. No problem. No binding. 5 16 will go with some effort. And a quarter inch shackle won't go like that, but it'll go like that. I almost, I almost wrote this one off, but nope, that works perfectly. No binding. That's all fine. Now, this is an aluminum anchor, so we don't have to worry about knocking galvan galvanizing off from a corner. But in any event, that, ra that hole is not chamfered. Um, it's becoming chamfered. You know, aluminum is soft, and where the, where the shackles have been bearing is now starting to round over. Nothing would prevent the owner of one of these to take a file and, and shape this in any way they wanted. Here's the five kilogram flying fluke anchor, and uh, th these anchors are designed to be tossed in the water and sort of glide out away from you. And when you're using them like that, they don't even want you to use any chain because that just sort of drags it down. So you can always just tie a rope directly here or pass a shackle in this fashion and give the road a bit more of a smooth, um, smooth place to attach. Uh, but if you want to use the anchor conventionally, you could use chain. And in that case, a quarter inch shackle will pass. A 5 16 shackle, though, will not pass. Uh, this is kind of a specialty anchor. It doesn't make a lot of high, high holding power, and it's not real strong. So um, I'd say they, they got the hole correct for its intended use. Last anchor is the very small 2.5 pound Mantis. We won't bother with a 7 16 and a 3 8 won't pass. A 5 16 will pass. Still very, very large. Uh, and the anchor actually was shipped with the quarter inch shackle, which works perfectly. Uh, this is stainless steel. Don't have to worry about the galvanizing knocking off. Uh, nicely chamfered uh, opening. Great slot. So as I was editing this video, something just didn't add up. And that was that these, this Sarka XL anchor clearly was designed to accept the boss of a shackle. It has an oval shaped hole. Yet, the shackles that I checked did not fit. This one's a Crosby half inch shackle doesn't go. But here's a Campbell half inch shackle and it does go. Here's an unmarked shackle, same thing. Another unmarked half inch, it goes. And this D shackle half inch also goes. Uh, this was the 7 16 shackle that I tried. It's a, it's a Campbell. It didn't go. Uh, neither did of these China 7 16 shackles fit. But this unmarked 7 16 shackle, it goes through just fine. Uh, I then tried all my 3 8 shackles and none of those would go. And of course, neither 5 16 would work as well. I did go back and I tried to pass all these shackles through all the anchors that we've seen today. And the only change in the results, it was also with an Anchorite product. That was the Super Sarka anchor. It was the same with the, with the 7 16 shackle. The, the one that you saw me try was the Campbell and it didn't go, yet this unmarked 7 16 shackle did. It's possible that the Anchorite people have maximized the amount of material in the end of their shank in the name of strength. 
and maybe they very carefully sized this to fit certain shackles. The problem, it just doesn't fit all shackles. Now a takeaway from this video is if you're anchor shopping and you want to use a particular shackle where the boss passes through, you probably should verify with the manufacturer whether it'll work. If it's a second hand anchor, well put your shackle in your pocket and before you buy it, pass it through. Now if you're the type of person that just doesn't mind using two shackles in this arrangement, then ignore it because this will pretty much always solve that problem. But I personally, I'm kind of a single bow shackle, pass it through the anchor type, and that, that's what I prefer. All right, that's all I got for now. We'll see you out on the water soon with another anchor test. So long.